We want to ensure that you have the best time when you raft at Dinosaur National Monument. So here are some of our rules, some safety tips, and a couple dangers to be aware of on the river. Before going on the river, a permit must be obtained. This can be done at www.recreation.gov or contact our river office for more details. The permit holder or trip leader must have qualified boating experience. Every member on the trip must be on the passenger list. The next thing you need before you can launch is your personal protective equipment. Everyone is required to wear a Type 1, 3, or 5 Coast Guard approved personal flotation device while on the river. Helmets are required to be worn while operating small crafts such as canoes, kayaks, and paddle boards on all named rapids. Closed toe shoes help prevent injuries to your feet. The following items are required on your trip. One major first aid kit for the entire group and one basic first aid kit for each boat. Make sure to bring a spare paddle or oar for each watercraft. One rescue kit, also known as a sweep kit or Z-drag kit, is required. Knowing how to use this equipment correctly is crucial before you launch. A boat repair kit and one air pump are required for the entire group. Make sure you have a throw bag for every boat. A washable, reusable, crush-resistant toilet container is required for multi-day trips. Campfires are only permitted with fire pans and a fireproof blanket. Bears are often spotted in the river canyons. For your safety as well as that of the bears, it is required to have locking food storage containers. Kitchen floor tarps and strainers are also required to avoid attracting wildlife to campsites, including skunks and insects. While it is not required, it is strongly recommended that a satellite communicator is accessible. Ensure your gear is strapped down tight in case your boat flips. These are just some of the regulations and required items needed. Check out our boating booklet for specific details. It doesn't matter if it's your first time in a boat or if you spend a lifetime on the river, there is always a chance that you can end up in the water. These are the things you need to know. The aggressive swim position is the best way to reach safety. Do this by swimming with your stomach down and your head above water. Swim hard with your arms and most importantly, keep your feet up. At no time stand up in the river. Your crew will instruct you to swim to the nearest boat or to shore. The defensive swim position is also an option when you end up in the river. Do this by lying on your back facing downstream. Keep your feet up and your knees bent. It's important in both swim positions to keep your head above water. Time your breaths in between waves and stay calm. Pay attention downstream for hazards and listen for your crew. If a throw bag is thrown to you, place the rope over your shoulder facing downstream. Never wrap the rope around any part of your body. Wait for your crew to pull you back in or swing you to shore. As simple as it may seem, boat re-entry can be hazardous, especially when assisting someone. When someone is re-entering a boat, be sure to grab the shoulder straps of their PFD, not their arms. Do not pull them into the boat, merely fall backward. Following these two re-entry tips reduces the chance of injury. There are some hazards found on a river you should be aware of. Foot entrapment can be fatal. This happens when feet get stuck between rocks or submerged debris. When in the water, keep your feet up. Strainers are fallen trees, branches, rocks, and other things that lay in the river with water rushing through them. They can block swimmers and trap them in very dangerous places. Avoiding strainers completely by aggressively swimming away is the best course of action. If there is no other option, swim aggressively towards and over the strainer. This is a skill you want to practice before it happens to you. Again, aggressively swim away if possible. Listen for your crew and keep your feet up.
The rivers change constantly due to rock falls, fallen tree limbs, and many other reasons. Knowing what's downstream keeps your crew safe. We highly recommend scouting your line to check for new hazards on the river. Speaking of fallen trees, be careful when picking a tent site. Even a healthy looking tree and its limbs have the potential to fall. When picking your campsite, stick to the designated areas and look for open clearings to place your tent. Finally, watch your spacing between boats. Crowding another raft can knock it out of the current or into a rock or other obstacles. Following too far away may prevent you from seeing if a nearby boat is in trouble and needs help. You will have an amazing time while boating through Dinosaur National Monument. If you have any further questions, check out our website at www.nps.gov forward slash D-I-N-O or call our river office at 970-374-2468.